There's a story in Mark's Gospel, chapter 9, where a father brings his son to be prayed for by the disciples. The son is highly demonized. He's struggling. The disciples pray and nothing happens. Jesus shows up and he makes this interesting statement and says, oh faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long can I put up with you? He says, bring the boy to me. The family had been in significant struggle with this son. And when Jesus speaks over the boy, the boy is instantly delivered and free by the power of God. When the disciples get with Jesus in the house privately, they ask a simple question to Christ. And they said, why couldn't we deal with this? And Jesus says, this kind only is removed through prayer and some transcripts add the word fasting. He said they didn't have enough faith. And so notice what Jesus says here, this kind only is removed, dealt with through prayer and fasting. Now, the interesting thing about this is the disciples had been praying. Because if you remember, Jesus had sent them out in times past to deal with similar issues and they were successful. But in this particular case, they were unsuccessful and it wasn't that they weren't praying. And this is what I want us to understand because Jesus will use the phrase, this kind. In other words, this was something that they had never encountered before. And Jesus implies that in some cases, you were able to deal with it. But in this particular situation, you did not have the authority or power to deal with it. There are some things that we pray about and it's all good. There's an answer. And there are many of you who are praying about various things and you get answers. And yet there are some other things where you do not get answers. And what Jesus is saying is that there is another place of authority or power that is given to believers when they intentionally pray and fast. This was a lack of authority on the part of the disciples. And what Jesus is wanting to give to you and to me during these days of prayer and fasting are not just simple answers to prayers that we always have had, but answers to prayers that we have not had answers for. An additional level of authority, an additional level of power, power for answered prayer, power for healing, power for freedom, power for things that we have not had the authority with breakthrough in times past. I remember a number of years ago, during a time of prayer and fasting, it was probably one of the most difficult times that I've ever experienced because there was this significant attack on my mind. It was a an attempt, I didn't know it at the time, it was supernatural, it was spiritual. I thought it was just my personal problem. And I remember going through these days of fasting, thinking that I was the problem when in fact, this was a supernatural struggle that was taking place. I finished the time of fasting and suddenly, as quickly as that challenge to my mind came, it left. It was gone. And during this time of fasting, I had set this time apart to pray for my parents and their salvation. And I didn't know that the spiritual battle was taking place over the souls of my parents and why this whole distracting attack on my mind had been taking place. A few weeks later, I called home to speak to my parents and they weren't there. It was a Sunday evening and they were always at home on, on Sunday nights. And I found out that my father, it was the winter time, had fallen on the ice and he had broken the piece behind the knee that allows your knee to be able to bend and to walk. And this was the first time in my lifetime that my father had ever really been in the hospital overnight because you couldn't really get my father because he was a businessman, a busy individual, to sit down and speak with him about the Lord. And now he's laying in a hospital bed and people, I'm sending people in to talk to him about the Lord. 
It became a significant move forward in the salvation of my father. I want you to know that there are some things you will not get to break through with without prayer and fasting. But I will tell you, there is a level of authority, there is a level of power that God will give to us as we fast and we pray together. So I want to encourage you not to be discouraged with what you feel, what you see, what you're maybe enduring during this time of prayer and fasting. I want you to press forward because there is an additional level of authority and answered prayer that is coming to you as we pray together during this time. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for the authority for healing, for freedom, for wisdom, for breakthroughs as a result of our time of prayer and fasting together.